Hey everybody, it's Brian, and we're back with the Java compiling video. Uh, I apologize, I had to split this into two videos. I was running out of time. YouTube only allows 10 minutes, and this one's going to go over a little bit. Um, last time I said there were three commands, and I only covered two. Remember, the first one was Java. That's how you run class files. second one was Java C, which is how you compile them. Today we're going to be discussing the jar command. What is jar? Jar stands for Java Archive. Java Archive or a jar file is simply a zip file. If you don't know what a zip file is, I beg you, go take a basic computing class. But I will explain it here anyways. A zip file is quite simply a file that has other files in it and they're compressed to save space. So a jar file is just a compressed file with other files in it. One of those files is a manifest file. The manifest file tells Java how to execute this program. Now to create a jar file, you notice how you got these list of options, C for create, F for file. Well, what you need to do is you need to be in the same directory as your class files, or you can use a class path. You see here's main.class. And what you do is you just type jar, give it the options we're going to create. So we do C, remember, create file, specify the archive name. So we'll type F and we'll call it mine dot, whoops, mine.jar and we want to add all the class files so we'll say star.class and when you do that it doesn't give you anything back it just exits so what happened when you go in your directory you see we now have the mine.jar if we rename this to a zip file and open it up you see that it has created this and there's our main class there's our manifest file. Manifest file is going to be blank because, quite frankly, we haven't added anything to it. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I'm just showing you that you can create this by the command line. An easier way, let me actually delete that. Go into Eclipse, and let's just make you know a couple new class files here. Class, we'll call this A. I know this isn't really standard naming convention. I'm just doing it for the sake of example. B. So we've got a package with a bunch of classes in it. Run it, same functionality. Um, what you can do is go to File, Export, Runnable Jar File. Select the launch configuration. I know this looks confusing, but you're just saying the file you want to launch. In this case, main out of the test project. See, here's main test. Export, where do you want to put it? We're going to call this wintest.jar. And hit finish creates the file. There's wintest.jar. Now, why are we doing this? Well, if you want to distribute this, you'd have to give these three files to the end user. If you put it in a jar, everything's nice and neat in this one file. And actually, let's just rename this, open it back up, and you see, sure enough, there's our class files. There's our manifest file. Now, the manifest file, remember, will tell this how to run this. Inside that manifest file, it's saying run the main class. Eclipse does that automatically so you don't have to mess around with it. Now we've got this .org. What's this? These are Eclipse items. Eclipse adds these automatically. Let's run this, or I'm sorry, turn this back into a jar file. And then go to your command line. Now how do you run a jar file? You type Java and we're going to say dash jar and then give it the name of the jar file, in this case wintest.jar. And you see it works. Remember that manifest file is being loaded. When Java is given the jar command, it's uncompressing that, looking for the manifest file and saying, what do I need to run? The manifest file says run main.class, so then it runs that. And that is the basics of how to use a jar file. Now remember, you don't need any of these class files. Let's actually just delete them. So you just distribute that jar file. And just for the sake of clarity here, you run it and you see how it runs. Even though you deleted the class files, that's because everything's contained within this jar file. Now the next tutorial, I'm probably going to show you how to convert this into an exe just, just for fun. But anyways, this is Brian. Thank you for watching and today we learned how to make jar files.